it's Candace, and in today's QuickBooks Tips and Tricks, we are going to talk about emails. So I went back through my channel to make sure I wasn't missing any questions, and the thing I noticed was you guys love my video on emailing, but the biggest question is how Gmail is blocking you and not allowing you. So Gmail has some security features that QuickBooks is considered an application, so it blocks it. So today I want to go in, I want to teach you how do you fix the problem in Gmail, how do you create an application password, and then how we'll go also into setting up the email and sending out directly inside of QuickBooks. So we'll do the whole thing. So the one thing I want to tell you real quick, I'll talk about it at the end, but if you haven't heard, Confidence with QuickBooks, my program just opened, and I'm super, super excited. I only open it a couple times a year. It is a course where you get in, you get to learn all the areas of QuickBooks, and you get live support from me. So at the end, don't forget to check it out, confidencewithquickbooks.com. But today we're gonna to talk about emails. So come look over my shoulder and I will show you how. So the first step is you go into your email. You'll notice I have a lot of things blurred out during this video because I'm doing it for security reasons. So if you go up and you'll see these little dots right here, you wanna to go to my account as of this moment anyway. You know, Gmail, they're always changing things around. Then you're gonna go down to sign in and security. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna create an application password so that you can use QuickBooks with your Gmail. So I highly recommend always doing a two-step verification process. If you don't know anything about it, Google it, set it up. It just it's, gives you a little extra added security. So then see where it says app password none? If you click on that, you need to be able to log in. You have to know what your password is for your email so you can log in so they know that you're legit. Then it's going to, because I have two-step verification set up, it's going to message me the code. A lot of this is going to be blurred out for the fact that I realize you need to have security. Okay, perfect. So then you put in your code that it's going to text you to your phone if you have two-step verification, which I highly, highly, highly recommend. Then the next step is you're going to select a pa an application. So if it's going to be for Intuit or QuickBooks, you're going to come down here to custom. Then you're going to name it QuickBooks, and then you're going to generate a code. And then this is the code that it's generating. So I recommend copying that and pasting it. Now, if you use something like 1Password or one of those things that holds all your passwords for you, you can put it in there or you can generate it in there. So I recommend saving that. And that's it. Now what you do is you go into QuickBooks. All right, so the first thing you log in, you create an app password. Then let's make this a little bit bigger. You're gonna go under Edit, Preferences, Going to go down to your email, send forms, and we are going to add it, which we have it right here. But if I didn't have it, let me delete it and I'll walk you through like how you actually add it. We'll delete that one too. And we're going to add it. So what I do first is I click, if you're using Gmail, you're going to click web form or webmail, I mean, click add down here. Then it's going to ask you for an email address. This is what you would do. You choose, you put your email address in, then you choose Gmail. You click OK. Then you click OK again. Now you're going to go in and we're going to email out an invoice to a customer. So I'm going to go back and find one that I've created with you guys in one of our amazing tips and tricks. I hope you guys are enjoying them. Click on email, invoice, and then you're going to put in an email address. We'll just do our own email, just for an example. This would normally be your customer's email that you want them to get the invoice at. And then you're gonna click OK. And then it's gonna go from my Gmail to their my Gmail, because it's an example, but this would be your email address. This is their email address. Then you can choose what you put in here, and you're gonna click Send. And it's gonna say, what's your password? So if I had tried to just put in my password that was my email password in the past, it most likely wouldn't work. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna put in that password that you copied, put it somewhere safe on your computer. And then if you click okay, 
You now are saying to Gmail, hey, I'm allowing, and you'll notice it's spun and then it's sent it and it says it's sent okay. So try this out if you're having problems sending your email. This is the workaround that I recommend at this time. There could be a possibility of a change in the future. And when I first created the email, tip and trick inside, it worked fine, then it stopped working. So for, especially if you have two-step verification, set this up, you'll be good to go. Just make sure you put it somewhere. And if you ever need, if you ever have a problem, you can always revoke the access by just logging in and clicking revoke, okay? Have an amazing day. Don't forget, Confidence with QuickBooks is currently open for registration. I hope you guys are enjoying these tips. I will see you guys again next week. Have an amazing day. Bye-bye.